Hello, I'm the Ballmeister, and welcome back to Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. Last time, <clears throat> we took on a case, but before we take on, before we turn in the case, I said I was going to go on into the next. Now, I know it's not going to help me any. We're going to take on the Silver Cup at the Coliseum. We're going to start out with the lot bond. Ooh, that's going to be some good damage there. Too good. Down it goes. Falcomon, Sudamon, and Winamon all level up to level 4. By the way, Sudamon, or Sudamon and Winamon will both uh, hit cap really quickly here. Back probably at the beginning of the second round. Yep. Sure, I got kids. These darlings are my pride and joy. Please don't be too hard on them. Well, so far so good here in the in the cup. I just want kind of wanted to see how far we get. Oh, they're gonna get close though. Wilbur got to level 17. Falcomon learns Speed Charge. Pseudomon learns Comet Hammer. And Manamon learns Wind Claw. Next up, for a guy like me, if I get into something, I don't go halfway. We got ourselves a Seokamon. And a Luckmon. That's gonna be super easy pickings right there. So far, the Silver Cup is getting to be there is pretty much a cakewalk for these three ultimates here. And it should cap. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe the cap's level 9. Falcomon's level 8. Pseudomon's level 8. Lanaemon's level 8. Maybe it's level 9 they cap. I thought it was 7. Welcome and thank you for your patronage. Whether you win or lose, please come by the shop. So this one doesn't matter. Oh. There it goes. Let's try the combo again here. There we go. That just leaves Metal Grandma and take out the Toyogi one. Getting a lot of chains here, which is good. Don't get me wrong. Yep, so Sudamon. So Fakamon's level in, and Sudamon and Manamon all max out. So this is number five here. So let's hit Love Serenade here. That was quick and easy. Wilbur's level 18, Falcomon's level 10. Almost got to level 11 too. Yeah, this should be... Don't think this will be easy because you're young. I'll teach you the stuff for a full-time job. You got terrible aim, my friend. Let a superstar uppercut on the bird here. That's the first damage we've suffered all battle. That was a piece of cake. Edamon leveled up, which is nice. He's now level 31. And Falcomon is level 12 and learns anti-paralysis. Oh, that's kind of handy. Great job, you're the Silver Cup Supreme Chip. Supreme Champion. Now on to the next challenge. 
Ta-da, here's your prize. Got a brief point D. Itch my eye there for a second. Let's head back to the Digilab, because now we've got some evolutions to take care of here. First things first. Leave your data type. Yep. Oh, I don't have any other data types. Shoot. Or any virus types. I got two data, so that means I am gonna have to switch out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to switch out. Teams back around here. I'm gonna go ahead and move Dorumon in for Giamon. That way we have a we have an equal and balanced, hopefully, team. We'll see your Gabumon. Won't have the quiet camp required to get to Garurumon. That's okay though. Data, vaccinated. Okay. But we won't worry about that right now. In fact, the only one we'll really worry about is the Alcamon at a. You got 12. You know what? Let's drop him back down to Tokemon. Why not? Okay, perfect. So now that we've done enough stall, let's go and turn in that case, see if we learn anything new. Shall we? Just make sure my microphone's still working here. Turn in the case, we got our... Oh, we got our sleuth rank up too, for that matter. Became a real cyber sleuth. Nice. Great work. What do you say I pour you a cup of coffee for your trouble? Thanks for more. Must be more cases. So the labyrinth entrance is in Shinjuku. If you've got the time, stop by and check it out. All right, let's go to Shinjuku. Like I said, we got the time. Let's go for it. Ooh, this place looks nice. Ah! Who the hell are you? Huh? If you want to eat, just come inside, did you say? You don't understand. A lady such as myself such as myself can't simply go into a place such as this unaccompanied. Eat. By the way, the other day I saw a girl left outside alone this place. She looked so lonely. She was fair scared and had black hair. She was looking at the display. Perhaps perhaps only I saw the girl? So, Yen, how's the new body? Have you broken it in yet? While you're out having fun, we got another request for the Cyber Sleuth. It's quite a big, complex case. Once you get back to the office, you can find it on the case. Find the case on the whiteboard. We'll do a metal spin just because. Got a Dover one. Okay. Still wanted to go to Shinjuku, though. But that's where she said she were where we were supposed to head. So we're in, we are gonna go there for a minute. Just to see if we can. It feels like something's out to kill. A case came in from Detective Matayoshi. Hurry up and come! What? You felt something ominous in the air just now? Since when have you been so superstitious? <laughs> it's probably nothing. Just get back here so we can get to work already. Alright, so we got ourselves a pair of new cases. What? Right. 
Tell you to be a detective too, huh? Yeah, that definitely doesn't get me anywhere. So let's go back to a knock on old Broadway. We got two new cases on board. We've got Broadway Food Tour and Broad Daylight. It's going to do Broadway Food Tour. I'm an undercover eater for food reviews, and I need something, someone to help me help me investigate something. We get 900 yen, 500 CSP, and another bank expansion drive. Sweet. Let's do it. Yin, I know it's out of the blue, but are you hungry right now? <laughs> Kids your age are always hungry. Actually, this case came from the web. It's quite a strange one. We have a request from somebody who ranks gourmet restaurants as a personal hobby. She would like you to go to Nakano and grade the gourmet restaurants there and report back to her. The fees and expenses have all been paid up front and decided it wasn't a risk, so I took it on. I have decided to, to entrust this case to you guys. Ah! Kyoko, is that egg and rice place really doing all you can eat buffets now? Can I really eat for free, Kyoko? Yes, it's a present from me to all you hungry little kids. Please, try your best on this one. So, the three restaurants we are going to are a Chinese restaurant, a sushi restaurant, and a tea house. Wait, what about the egg and rice place? Looks like each one of those places is in the Nakano building. Oh, what about the egg and rice place? You can visit the places in any order. I'm starving, let's just go. What, my egg and rice? Enough, enough chatter, let's go. Alright. Alright, so let's go upstairs. I'm coming, I'm coming, the sushi restaurant is next. Sushi! What's up, you seem tense. Because it's a, it's a sushi restaurant where the food doesn't come around on a conveyor belt. I've never seen that before. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, what, what? Are, are you making fun of me now? Have you ever been to a fancy sushi place? Moving on, what do you want to eat? Well, I'm definitely going for the omelet. Omelet? You don't get it at all. You know, egg was a was a was a desert a long time ago. If you eat something sweet like that, you will ruin your fish. When you eat sushi, you should always start with the white fish. The way the experts do it is that they clean that they eat clean tasting white fish first, then fattier fish, then sushi rolls. Ugh, that's so boring. Jeez, no wonder you don't get any girls. You're such a nerd. Ugh, what? I wasn't going to. Anyway, let's go inside. Get what are you gonna start with? Some people think they know everything about sushi and keep going on and on about it, but the best way to eat it is the way you like it. Hmm. Still, I can't decide. At times like this, the best thing to do is to look at look is to look at the chef's recommendations. Oh, today's recommendation is squid? Okay, I'll start with that then. Sure thing, one squid coming right up! Okay, they're putting the sushi on my plate. You certainly don't get this kind of treatment at a cheap conveyor belt sushi place. Now then. Wow, it's plump, springy, and thick. It looks really delicious. I'll just put some soy sauce on it and pop it in my mouth. Oh, that's amazing. The squid is a little bland, but the al dente texture and the unique taste complement each other beautifully. Okay, now that I've worked up an appetite, the next one is... That was delicious! Ugh, I'm stuffed. That was absolutely delicious. Hm. So this is what an expensive sushi place is like. Huh, you... You, you never knew you never knew what you were talking about, did you? Huh? Well, at least I didn't just order fish eggs. Everything you've ordered is eggs. You're obsessed. Also, when you left the restaurant, you said... Oisu? Oisu? Didn't you? 
I just wanted to try it out once. Is that not right? Waisu comes from the term Ayusu Mutaku. Waisu wo Tukatsu. It is used only by the staff to talk to the customers, never the other way around. Hey, Yen, wouldn't it be best if you wrote a report? Cool, that's wait. That's great. That way I can focus on the eating part. Hey, don't just ignore me. Alright. So we got through the sushi place here. Then I need a final sets tea shop. Tea shop. Final sets tea shop. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Final sets tea shop. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Find ourselves tea, some tea. Oogie. Oogie. Unless they mean K Cafe, but that should be right. Right? Up here on the fourth floor, there's not a whole lot of places open up here. This is Gay Cafe. That's Big Yard. Run is this? This place is kind of run down. Actually, it's falling apart. No, actually, it's a complete dump. You must be blind. This place looks great. If it's, it's, been, it's been deteriorating, it means it's been here for a long time, which means customers have been coming here for a long time, which means it's good. Great, let's go in. What are you having? Hmm, what should I have? The Chahan. The Chahan? Chahan. Yeah, Chahan. Looks good, but so is the mapo tofu. Huh? Half a chahan meal? Hmm, that way I could just have the parts of chahan I like the best. Okay, I'll go for that then. Half a chahan and a mapo do tofu, here you are. Wow, they give a good they give good sized portions here. That was a, this was a good choice. Huh? That delicious smell. Oh yes, it's the su uh, Sichuan pepper and the ma mapo tofu. Hmm. Oh, the Sichuan. Sichuan? I don't know. Per My apologies for butchering butchering complete languages, folks. Uh, the pepper is making a beautiful is making a beautiful harmony with the ever more delicious star anise. I'm gonna try and put the chahan in my mouth while the aftertaste of the mapu tofu is still there. That was great. Oh, that was delicious. That's just like I thought. This place is amazing. That was great. That was great. Crab omelet, and egg chahan with stir fried mushroom and egg. Oh, who are you? Oh, poor Yuko. Hey, what are you doing? Come on, let's go. Uh, yes. Alright, so we've been here. Now we need to just find ourselves a tea shop. Well, this place sure does have a lot of menu options for a tea house. Curry, pancakes, salted mackerel, set meal. Looks like this place serves all kinds of food. <coughs> so what are you having? Hmm. Ah, they have an egg set meal. Three second helping. This is the egg, egg and rice place that Kyoko said they had had an all-you-can-eat buffet. Ah, oh, they have a rice omelet meal as well. Hmm, rice omelet. All right, let's go inside. Yen, what do you want to order? A tea house. Cool, I like the retro feel of this place. The menu has so much on it, I really can't choose. Huh? Neapolitan pasta. Obviously, the best pasta is from a pasta restaurant, but I like this place. Okay, I'll go for it. Go Neapol Neo your Neapolitan, sir. Here you go. Nice bright red tomato sauce on thick spaghetti. Wow, this place really does good ne Neapolitan pasta. Look at the chopped sausage on top. I can't resist. Wow. After the taste of tomato sauce is gone, the spice of the chili comes in strong. This is no kid's dish. Not bad at all. 
Well, the thing, put, the thing about putting grated cheese on top is some people put it on before they start, whereas I prefer to add it halfway through. That was delicious! I'm stuffed? The price and taste are astonishingly good. The range of food on the menu is very wide. Just what you'd expect from a Nakano restaurant. Yeah, it looks like this place has a lot of regulars. Wow, you were really hungry today. That's the first time I've ever seen one si uh, That's the first time first time I have ever seen one single human stomach take such a beating. I think I'm done with this report. Time to take it back to the office. Did you write the report yet? Yeah, the report is good, but it's a pain in the ass to read. <laughs> While we were eating, this guy just kept talking to himself and never spoke a word to the rest of us. Wow, I never thought you'd have a talent for so, or have such a talent for writing reports. So, by the way, who is this undercover tester client anyway? He kept his true name hidden. I only know his web handle, so I don't actually know. And anyway, even if I knew, I have to keep that information confidential, so I couldn't say. Well, come on, Kyoko, I really want to know. This upper undercover examiner, who the hell is he? And we shall never know. But we get our just reports. You must be ready to burst after all those restaurants. Help us some coffee. We could try a new blend. <coughs> Use a koshu and sour cream. Ugh. I'm going to the episode so I can get a drink of water. Because that just left a bad taste in my mouth. Anyway, next time we'll take on the other taste for Detective Matayoshi. But until then... I am the Bowmeister, and as always, I have been obediently yours.